We're here at Hope of the Valley today painting a mural. The mural is amazing. It tells the story of not just one person, but a collective of individuals that have gone through varying degrees of experiencing homelessness. This mural is truly a culmination and a celebration of this year-long project and we are so thankful for the openness and every time we work with a group we realize how important it is to really hear these different narratives that don't get heard. The podcast, uh, I spoke about how I fell into homelessness. I fell into homelessness because of my mental health. Um, so parts of the mural, there's a happy and sad face. It's a half and half face. And that's supposed to represent like, you know, mental health, how you have to like put on this front like you're okay, but deep down inside you're not. So we brought in uh, muralist Liva Ponce to work with the youth and to collaborate with them to figure out what would be the best design, what would be the best way for them to translate their ideas into art. We took all these drawings, all this information and kind of put it together to create this quilt because we realized that ex experiencing homelessness isn't one thing, it's a combination of a lot of things. It, it all kind of culminated with, with us photographing one of the youth involved and in, in designing the mural. Uh, when they asked for a model, I was like, hey, I'll be a model. <laughs> You'll see that we have the, the quilt in the back, but she's also wearing the quilt because the quilt is her story. The really beautiful part of this that, that we are so excited to bring to the youth themselves is that they will be able to see themselves reflected in this mural and it's going to stay here, it's going to be here. So we hope that this will bring them a sense of pride, a sense of visibility, just to be heard and seen. This whole experience has been uh, truly a blessing for myself. Uh, it's helped me be able to speak, uh, speak up, use my voice to advocate for myself and for others in situations like myself. It's just been amazing being out here with Connectipod, with Hope of the Valley, and everybody else involved, really. Everybody's so friendly, so outgoing, and it's, it's just nice to have a piece of art that everybody can relate to and everybody can see themselves in. We're so happy and thankful to have worked with Unhoused Youth for the last year, and we look forward to our next project where we can take everything we learned from this project and bring it into the next one.